The Waste Electrical and Electronic Equipment Directive is the European Community Directive 2002 EC on Waste Electrical and Electronic Equipment which, together with the ROHS Directive 2002 EC, became European law in February 2003. The WEEE Directive set collection, recycling and recovery targets for all types of electrical goods with a minimum rate of 4 kg per head of population per annum recovered for recycling by 2009. The ROHS directive set restrictions upon European manufacturers as to the material content of new electronic equipment placed on the market. The symbol adopted by the European Council to represent waste electrical and electronic equipment comprised a crossed-out wheelie bin with or without a single black line underneath the symbol. The black line indicates that goods have been placed on the market after 2005, when the directive came into force. Goods without the black line were manufactured between 2002 and 2005. In such instances, these are treated as historic worthy, and falls outside reimbursement via producer compliance schemes. Directive Revisions The directive has undergone a number of minor revisions since its inception in 2002. These include updates in 2006 and 2009. After nine years the directive was seen as failing to achieve some of its goals, hence the legislation had been amended again. On December 20, 2011 the European Parliament and the European Council agreed on amendments to the directive, subject to a second reading vote, which was taken on January 19, 2012. The changes affect the method for calculating collection rates which were previously 4 kg per inhabitant per year. To provide a transitional period of seven years to introduce the revised method of calculation, the present method is retained for the first four years from the time the amended directive comes into force. For the next three years, commencing with the fifth year after the amendment, the calculation of collection rates will be revised to 45% of the weight of E and E products entering the market. Once this seven years transitional period is over, EU member states will individually select the actual collection options they wish to use. The overall aim is for the EU to recycle at least 85% of electrical and electronics waste equipment by 2016. Member State Implementation The directive imposes the responsibility for the disposal of waste electrical and electronic equipment on the manufacturers or distributors of such equipment. It requires that those companies establish an infrastructure for collecting WEE, in such a way that users of electrical and electronic equipment from private households should have the possibility of returning WEE at least free of charge. The directive saw the formation of national producer compliance schemes, into which manufacturers and distributors paid an annual fee for the collection and recycling of associated waste electronics from household waste recycling centers. Deadlines. The WEEE directive obliged the then 25 EU member states to transpose its provisions into national law by August 13, 2004. Only Cyprus met this deadline. On August 13, 2005, one year after the deadline, all member states except for the UK had transposed at least framework regulations. The WEEE directive was transposed into UK law in 2006 and was active the following year. Categorizations of WEEE The directive places WEEE into numerous categories, the first here being historic and non-historic. Historic WEEE implies equipment placed on the market prior to 2005 and the WEEE directive places the onus upon the owner of the equipment to make provisions for its recycling. Where equipment was placed on the market after 2005, it is known as non-historic WEE, and it is the responsibility of the producer-distributor to make provisions for its collection and recycling. The WEE directive sets a total of 10 categories of WEE for reporting purposes. Large household appliances, small household appliances, IT and telecommunications equipment, consumer equipment, lighting equipment, electrical and electronic tools, toys, leisure and sports equipment, medical devices, monitoring and control instruments, automatic dispensers, UK implementation, prior to the implementation of the WEEE directive in the UK, waste electronic and electrical equipment was disposed of in the household waste stream. 
exclusions applied to electrical and electronic equipment that was deemed hazardous. Hazardous wastes are derived from the European Waste Catalogue, which denotes wastes with a six-digit number in three sets of two. Hazardous wastes are denoted with an asterisk at the end of the number. Hazardous electronic wastes comprise uninterruptible power supplies, lead acid batteries, cathode ray tubes, fluorescent tubes, backlights to laptop screens, thin film transistors, electrical electronic equipment containing polychlorinated biphenyl, fridges and freezers, due to chlorofluorocarbon, an ozone depleting substance. WEE that is delivered to household waste recycling centers, also known as designated collection facilities, is collected by or delivered to approved authorized treatment facilities. The waste electrical and electronic equipment is then weighed and categorized in accordance with the directive. Post reprocessing, total volumes of each category are reported to the producer compliance scheme and the reprocessor is reimbursed accordingly. Totals of obligated WEE for all AATFs are collated by the Environment Agency on a quarterly basis and reported to the EU. Historically, there were problems with the implementation of the producer compliance schemes due to a double counting and reporting of reprocessed WEE to producer compliance schemes. This arose where obligated WEE was partially treated by the first AATF to receive the waste prior to it being passed on to a second AATF for further treatment. Both the first and second AATF would then claim against the same waste electronics, resulting in a net debt against the wastes being treated. Additional legislation that applies is, the Environmental Protection Regulations 1991, Hazardous Waste Regulations 2005, Waste Framework Directive, or Directive 2008 EC. The management of WEE is applied via the waste hierarchy, employing the three RS, reduce, reuse, recycle. In January 2012, proposals were debated by the European Parliament to recast the WEE directive. The proposals included increasing recycling rates. The recast directive no longer included reuse of WEE via repair and refurbishment. Public awareness. In April 2005 the Royal Society of Arts in the UK unveiled a 7 a metre tall sculpture titled WEE Man on London South Bank, made from 3.3 tonnes of electrical goods a euro the average amount of electrical waste one UK individual creates in a lifetime. The giant figure was subsequently moved to the Eden Project in Cornwall as part of a UK tour. See also, Computer Recycling, Electronic Waste Recycling Act, Digger Gold, Electronic Waste, Green Computing, ROHS, E-Day, Electronic Waste by Country, China ROHS, References External links, European Commission WEEE Page, ROHS Directive, WEEE Directive Waste Electrical and Electronic Equipment, The Environment Agency, VCA The UK Enforcement Body for WEEE Distributor Obligations more on WEE from Electronics Weekly.